Hi guys, it's Suzanne. I'm back again with another video and this is actually a haul from Fair Maiden and they had, um, I bought two collections from Fair Maiden. They had a Tinties collection, they called it, which was um, just some super high pigmented, bright, super bright uh, jellies. And when it first came out, I told myself not to buy it, but it was very reasonably priced for a collection I don't I guess maybe jellies are a little bit cheaper um but I told myself not to buy it because you know I don't even know how I will wear all these jellies but I love the brightness of them so I actually didn't buy them at first they sold out and then they restocked them so I wound up getting them and I don't know if any of you all know if you do comment below what is going on with Fair Maiden it's not normally a brand that I buy a whole lot from. I don't actually, I don't think I've ever bought anything from them. Just I've gotten some in mysteries, but I did notice on their where, uh, warehouse, on their website, it said that they would be restocking both the two collections that I bought today, which was the Tinty set and the Pastel Neon set. But they said that all the polishes that are up on their website are there until they sell out and will not be restocked. And they said coming soon or something like that. I can't remember the exact wording. Something about coming soon. They would be talking about their final collections. I don't know if they're going out of business or they're rebranding or what, but let's just get right into the polishes. And a lot of these don't really have the greatest descriptions, but we'll just get right into it. So the first one is Fair Maiden, and this is called Dear Heart. And Dear Heart is just a black. All it is is a black jelly. But yes, I saw somebody do a video on these. I think it was the Polage Madge. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And they were so bright and pigmented. And I have never seen jellies like that. And I just love them because they were so bright. And like I said, I told myself not to buy them because um, I don't dislike jellies. But I don't really, you know, I don't do like a lot of jelly sandwiches. I guess now I'm going to try to do some. I don't know how they'll turn out. But they just look so pretty. And I believe this complete set, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it's eight polishes. And then if you bought the whole set, it's just a super black, super bright black. If you bought the whole set, you got um, like, a, I don't know, they call it a base layer, like a hollow topper or something. And this is Fair Maiden, Dear Heart. But if I remember right, when I ordered these, I can't remember where you could even, like, I didn't see where you could even buy them broken up. You were forced to buy the whole set, which was fine. And then the next one from Fair Maiden is called Honey Bun. And this one is just, just says yellow. So it's just the yellow jelly. Look, you can see the ball in there. That's funny. Um, I'm hoping these will come out as bright Ooh, see, that is so bright as they were in her video because that's mainly why I bought them for their brightness. Ooh. Um, like I said, I'm not, um, you know, I just, I don't dislike jellies. I don't love jellies, but I was just drawn to these. I couldn't stop thinking about them. Um. So I did just decide to go on and get them. That's super bright and super pretty. I'm going to, you know, play around with them and see what I get. But this one is Fair Maiden Honey Bun. So hopefully I can, I don't know, figure out a way to use them. Because I will be, you know, upset if I just bought them to do nothing with them. But I'm going to try to do something. So this is Fair Maiden. This one is Love Bug. And Love Bug is the green jelly. Now when I'm looking in my camera, the darker ones all kind of just look black, but I'm sure once I put it on the swatch wheel, ooh, see this is just super bright. I mean, it's looking like it's not 
very sheer when I look through my camera, but in person it is sheer, but jellies are supposed to be, you know, sheer because you can, um, you know, I don't know, wear them sheer, I guess, or do, you know, what they call jelly sandwiches, which like I said, I've never really done, but I guess I will play around with, but I just love the brightness. Look at those two together. Those are my favorite colors, but I just love how bright they looked and I thought I have not seen any jellies that are quite that bright so this is fair maiden love bug yeah like I said in the beginning of the video if you know what's going on with fair maiden I am so curious about that because it was weird it was just like like I said I can't remember the wording but it was something like you know follow us for our final collection and everything that's on the website now will just be sewed out and then it's over like you can't get those again so I don't know if they're going out of business and this is fair maiden pookie or what is going on and this is just their blue jelly and I was like hmm I hadn't heard anything about it so I was just like okay um but it's like they're gonna it's weird because they're gonna keep the two collections I got stocked that just seems weird to me but I don't know. You don't ever know. You don't ever know, you know, someone else's situation. So I don't know what's going on. Ooh, this is super bright and super pretty. I hope I can do something fun with these because they are just like so bright and stunning. Oh, that is beautiful. This is Fair Maiden. Pookie. And then we have Fair Maiden Snookums. And Snookums is the purple jelly. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how bright these are. They're just so pretty. So pretty. Like I said, I saw the video and I thought, oh my gosh, those are the brightest jellies I have personally ever seen and I kept telling myself you don't need them you don't need them you don't need them but I kept thinking about them and I thought I'm pretty sure the set was $50 like I said for one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight nine nine polishes and I thought that was a um you know I think that's a pretty cheap deal for indie polishes new especially so fair maiden snookums so i thought well i'll just get them and see what i can do with them so this is fair maidens what maiden fair maiden sweetie and sweetie is their pink jelly Ooh. And I have a lot of toppers, so, you know, I'm thinking I could do jelly sandwiches, you know, with one coat, then a topper, another coat of this, and then, you know, maybe another coat of the topper and another coat of this. Um, if you're a fan of jelly sandwiches, or if you use a lot of jellies, comment down below, and um, if you could comment your favorite way to use them because I'm very curious look how bright these are they're just like bright and beautiful Ugh. stunning and this is fair maiden sweetie and then next up we have fair maiden main squeeze and main squeeze is their red jelly Uh, let's see what we get with that one. Ooh. I just can't get over how bright these are. They are just so bright. Oh. And they have a really super nice jelly formula. They're really like how people say like squishy. They really are like jelly and squishy. Super pretty. I mean, as of right now, I'm super glad I got these. I just hope, <laughs> I hope I can find, you know, some nice way to use them. So this is Fair Maiden Main Squeeze. 
And then the last jelly is Fair Maiden, and it is Pumpkin Face, which is their orange jelly. So this is their orange jelly. So let's see what it looks like on the swatch wheel. Ooh, that is just that is so bright. Ugh. So let's put the second coat on. Super pretty. I mean, look at those. Look at how bright those all are. That is just, uh, I love that. It's right up my alley. All that brightness. I just love it. So that is Fair Maiden Pumpkin Face. And then, like I said, if you bought the whole set, you got this polish right here which is called Superstar. And the description they gave on this is a hollow flake base layer. And like I said, I don't even remember how you, I don't remember seeing where you could even break the collection up, but they showed pictures where they had used this with the jellies and it just looked super cute. So I'm curious to play around with it. Um, See, I would call this a topper, but they called it a base layer. So I don't know if you put this one down first. If I guess because it's a base layer, you put this one down first and then you put a jelly on top of it. I will have to play around with it and hopefully it will, you know, be in my monthly Manny soon, maybe. I don't know if it'll make it into um, spring, but hopefully this will be on some of these will be in my summer rack, but. I think that is just going to look amazing if I can figure them out how to make them look amazing. And this is Fair Maiden Superstar. And then I wound up buying this other collection only because I had been eyeballing it too. It is called their Pastel Neon Set. I noticed it when I went to look at the Tinties the first time. But um, I didn't have enough just with the Tinties to get free shipping. I don't know how much free shipping was. I can't remember. But I just decided to go on and pick up this pastel neon set so that I could get the free shipping. And this whole set is, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, it's six polishes. And they have no descriptions on any of them, so I'll just have to go with it. And then if you order the set, you got this. Um, it's like a, it's really cute. It's like a silicone tie-dye cup. And you got this. But this is like... I mean, you could kill someone with this. This is like a super sharp point. So I'm not really sure what you use this for. In nail art, the only thing I can think is that this is for like um, water marbling. And you just use this to stir it. Because this is just like a super sharp point. Like I don't know what else you would use that for but to water marble. I don't know if I'm brave enough to water marble. <laughs> Maybe I will now that I've got the supplies for it, but I doubt it. But I don't know if I don't water marble what I'll use this stuff for, but um, I'll keep it around for a while and see if I'm brave enough to water marble, but I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't think so. So I'm just going to go through this um, collection. And this one is called Mango Sorbet. Or, you know, Sorbet is how I would say that. Um, sorbet, but I would say it's sorbet. Um, and it's just kind of like a pastel orange. I'm curious to see how, oh, it is very neon. I was like, I'm curious to see how very neon they are because I don't remember, I could be wrong because I was so obsessed with looking at the Tinties. I don't remember them having a whole lot of pictures of these, but I could be wrong about that because I just remember I was totally obsessed with the, um, now I take it back. They did wind up, the first time I looked at these, they didn't have pictures. They just had kind of like the bottle shots. Um, and in fact, they were just in boxes. So you didn't really even get good bottle shots, but I'm pretty sure the second time I went on the website, they did have pictures. Look how bright that is going to be. So pretty. Um, they probably, won't make it on my spring rack because I've already done that. So they will probably be worn summer. 
or next spring but they are super bright and I just love that so this is fair maiden mango sorbet or sorbet and then next up we have blue raspberry slushy hmm I'm not sure why this one would be called blue raspberry slushy because this is definitely like a lilac -y purple to me but now I'm curious to see it on this watch because I would not think that would have been um yeah I'm not sure where that name came from because this definitely does not make me think of a blue raspberry slushy ever in my life it makes me just think of like a real pretty um lilac lilac -y purplish color so that's a weird name for it but it's super pretty super pretty yeah, I'm not sure the reasoning behind that name. Fair Maiden, Blue Raspberry Slushy. Let's think, this is just weird, but whatever. And then <laughs> next up, we have this one, which is called Cherry Popsicle. And to me, this looks like a super bright pinkish, like a salmon color almost, because it's kind of got like a little bit of an orangey tint to it but I'm curious to see how it will come off yeah I would definitely call this like a salmon color because um, it's not really it's pink but it has like an orange tone to it but super nice formula super pretty I'm excited to wear these oh my gosh I love all these bright I'm so over winter I don't know when this video will post so I don't know if it'll seem weird but I'm talking about you know current things and it might not post for another month or so but I am so over winter and this is fair maiden cherry popsicle even though the summer I'm usually cold too because everywhere has their air cranked up um so I'm usually cold too if I'm indoors, but I'm just so over winter. I'm over it. And then this one is called Blackberry Milkshake. Hmm. I don't know. And this is blue. Like, see, I would have maybe called this one blue raspberry. This is just um, a very pretty pastel blue. Okay, this one is kind of a little sheer on the first coat, but it's still very pretty. I would probably wear all of these. This one kind of was like a little sheer too. Um, these weren't too bad, but I would probably wear all of these with a blurring base coat underneath them just to help them. Like see the second coat, it's fine, not sheer at all. But I probably would wear all these with a blurring base coat just to help them, you know, build up opacity. Oh, that is beautiful. It's a very pretty shade of blue. So this is Fair Maiden Blackberry Milkshake. And then next up we have, this is called Lemon Ice. And this is just... It looks like a highlighter yellow in the bottle. It's just a very bright yellow, but it's supposed to be pastel at the same time. So I'm curious. Whoa. It is very bright. Super bright, but I love stuff like that. So I will love that. Oh my gosh. This would be, this definitely would be so pretty. On your nails in the summer if you have a little tan but I would wear it whenever because I'm just like that but I do see where this would look super pretty if you have you know some Sun on your skin oh, super bright and that is fair maiden lemon ice and then the last one up in that collection is called key lime pie and this is just a bright green. Um, 
I think I will love it. And this, this name makes super sense. Key lime pie. Okay. So it's definitely like a bright pastel green. It's super bright, but it's definitely got that past pastel vibe to it. It's not like, um, it's supposed to be a pastel neon and it is very bright, but it definitely at the same time, it's a good description because it's very bright, but still has that past pastel vibe to it. Look at all those. They are just stunning. I'm super glad I went on and got these collections, even though I don't need them, but I do plan on putting them to good use, and this is Fair Maiden Key Lime Pie. So that is all the polishes I got for you today in this haul. If you know what's going on with Fair Maiden, comment down below because I'm super curious about that. Um, I would love to know what your favorite uh, pastel collections are or what brands your favorite pastels come from. And I would also love to know if you're into jellies because I guess I am trying to get into jellies and I'm just curious to know if you like these type of videos please consider subscribing to my channel because I do this stuff all the time and I do do monthly giveaways to subscribers of nail polish I hope everyone has a great day remember keep polishing bye guys